What up, tubers? It's me, your old pal Jackhammer Mike. Another lame video. That's not true. This video won't be lame. Show and tell. What do we have? I don't have much. I did get Mike and I these keychain ferro rods. So, they, uh, I don't think I've scraped this one off yet. I don't know. There might be some other things I can't think of right now. So the purpose of this video is simply to answer some questions about operation safe space. Uh, I keep getting basically the same questions over and over. Um, and to be honest, I haven't made a video that fully explains it. There's been some videos that stuff was sort of intermingled in there, but nothing that's just specifically for Operation Safe Space in regards to the representatives and kind of their duties. So a lot of people have said, like, basically what would my responsibilities be? So first off, we currently have, I believe, eight points of contact. Um, I would, I'll try and do this in my head, but I'm not going to get it right. I might. So far, we have a representative for Houston, Texas, Buffalo, New York, Trenton, New Jersey, Phoenix, Arizona, Las Vegas, Nevada, Poughkeepsie, New York, Oakland slash Augusta, Maine, and Jacksonville, Florida. So that's a total of eight at this time. I know I have been contacted some of these um, places. I know um, Houston and Trenton, New Jersey have done some recruiting. They do have people in the group now. I don't have any specifics because um, these are your groups. Once the city has a point of contact, that's pretty much it for me. It's all up to that group from that point on, on what they do and how they prep, whether or not they're going to cash, have a bug out location, uh, whether or not there's dues, like, you know, when you first join, you got to bring X amount of cans of food or whatever. It's all completely up to each individual group, how you run those groups. Some of the responsibilities of the point of contact for each city, again, it varies. It's up to you. You can make this, uh, as detailed as you want. You can run it like a tight ship or you can sort of just half-ass it. It's really your call. I would recommend you take it seriously and try and make your group as um, productive and effective as possible. Uh, one question I get is how do I recruit people? Again, that's entirely up to you. I would say start with friends and family. If you don't have anybody um, that close to you who doesn't think you're batshit crazy, then you're going to have to start looking uh, outside of your uh, known associates and family members. One way to do that is to use social media. Use your Facebook, use your Twitter, use YouTube. You can either link to one of my videos explaining kind of what it's all about or one of the videos that shows the point of contacts or you can make your own video uh, with your contact information. Uh, you can print flyers, put them up at local like grocery stores or, or places where um, public flyers are posted and uh, there's a lot of foot traffic. You can take out a Craigslist ad locally. There's a, any number of ways you can get the word out. That's kind of up to you. How do you vet people? That's another question I get. Again, you know, you can make a list of five to ten questions that you have people answer who uh, contact you that are interested. Um, I would probably word the questions in a way where you try and kind of see where their head's at and whether or not they're serious about this or not. Um, probably meet in a public setting. Bottom line, you're probably going to have to go with your gut on uh, meet somebody and you're just going to know whether or not this is someone you believe, you can trust, they're like-minded, or if it's someone who you think is uh, nuts. So again, that's up to you, how you do it. Uh, what else have we gotten? Just various questions about like basically how do I be a point of contact? Well, besides recruiting people, um, advertising in some way, 
some of the things other than um, recruiting people or vetting people that you might want to consider is um, communicating with uh, once you have a group together create an email list or, or however you want to do it but do regular updates let people know if a new member um, joins the group let people know if you want to get together and have some sort of a meeting whether it be in a you know a restaurant or outside somewhere or at somebody's house um, things you can talk about again caching um, bug out location um, a plan have a plan um, do we have a bug out location if so what's the threshold that once met everybody should go to this location uh, do you have somebody in your group that's a ham radio operator or has a ham radio how are you going to communicate how are you going to communicate when there's no power and I wouldn't get these groups too big I would keep them manageable basically just run your group the way I would say you know do it democratically discuss things with everybody and uh, come to a consensus as to how things will work best for your group. Like I said, it's going to be different because each group's going to have different individuals. Each group's going to be in a different geographical location. You're going to have different population densities to deal with. You're going to have different weather conditions to deal with. The main job of the point of contact is to get the word out locally, recruit people, vet those people, and then uh, decide how you want to handle you know, communication and monthly meetings or you know bug out location caching you may want to have uh, one day every couple of months where you go to a range and you do some um, some target shooting if, if you're like us and you're able to go out um, out you know out and not have to deal with an actual range you could do all kinds of tactical training and stuff but that's entirely up to you a lot of it's going to depend on your circumstances so bottom line is if you are interested in being a um, point of contact, then email me at uh, the contingency plan at protonmail.com. Let me know. Um, for those of you who are in an area that there is no contact, but you're not interested in being a contact, look at Marfugal News and John X Army and contact them and see if they have a group uh, in your area. There are some other groups I've, or YouTube channels I've been told are also doing something similar. It seems like this is like suddenly a lot of people are concerned that something's coming and uh, forming groups. Uh, I had somebody last night ask me about Seattle. They said, do you have a rep in Seattle? I said, no, but I, uh, Marfugal News is based uh, outside of Seattle. So I guarantee you uh, that Marfugal has a group set up in, that, in the Seattle area. Uh, I do know that the email contact for Marfugal News for um, prepper groups is MarfugalReports at ProtonMail.com. So if you're in the Pacific Northwest, um, Idaho, Oregon, Washington area, right now we don't have anybody representing that part of the country that I, no, I don't think so. So contact MarfugalReports at ProtonMail.com and uh, inquire as to whether or not there's a group in the Pacific Northwest or if you're interested in being the, uh, the representative for the city you live in email me at the contingency plan at ProtonMail.com and uh, we'll set you up as the point of contact again I, I'm gonna release videos I basically I've been doing it every time I get three new cities I'll make another video right now we got since the last video there's two um, and a few that are pretty close to becoming so there, there's going to be a, a new update number three coming out soon I'm probably going to on each update video. I'm going I'm not just going to put the three new um, Representatives email addresses. I'm gonna it's gonna include everybody So it's gonna be the first three the second three and the next three all nine are gonna be on the next um, update I do not put first names. I'm just gonna put the city and your email, your Proton Mail. It has to be Proton Mail. And um, you know, if you use your name in your Proton Mail account, then that's what it's going to say. If you don't, like uh, Slowburn in Trenton, New Jersey, it'll just say, you know, Slowburn. I don't remember if it's Slowburn seventy six or uh, it's uh, yeah, Slowburn seventy six at Proton Mail. 
So uh, I'm not going to use your name. When the people contact you at some point, if you want to tell them what your name is, that's great, but I'm not going to do that for you. Um, I'm going to respect your anonymity, and um, if somebody contacts you and you're not getting a good feeling about them, you might not want to know your name. But uh, So that's pretty much it for the uh, Operation uh, Safe Space. Um, just if you're interested in being a representative for your city and in the, any in the cities uh, in the immediate vicinity surrounding your, your town, uh, email me and let me know. Um, don't don't write me and say, "Hey, is there um, a contact in uh, you know Laredo, Texas?" No, it's Houston, Texas. Is all we have right now in Texas. And you can look at the the, the most recent update video that I post, uh, and it'll tell you every single city. So if it's not on there, there isn't one. I do post uh, individually on. Um, on the YouTube, uh, on the community section, I will say, hey, we just got a new um, representative for such and such city, and then that will eventually make it into the next video update. But uh, if you don't see it on my YouTube channel, the answer is no, there isn't one currently for whatever city. So that being said, if you have any questions, uh, email me, and I think that's it for now. I'm going to make another video right after this. It's a completely different subject. So take care. God bless. Peace.